Hello, good afternoon everyone and welcome to a brand new episode of the Butterfly Princess Show. I'm the host and the founder, Steph Marie, um, aka the Butterfly Princess. This afternoon I'm joined by uh, Jenny Young, who is the Centre Director and Head of marketing for the Calvert Trust Expo and uh, we're, we're going to have a chat this afternoon about um, about uh, everything Calvert Trust Expo, what that's all about because it, seems, it sounds very exciting to me. So thank, hi Jenny, thank you for joining me today. Hi Steph, it's lovely to meet you. Lovely to meet you too. So first of all, could you tell us what Calvert Exmo is? Absolutely. Um, so we are an activity centre uh, based um, on the edge of Whistling Pound Reservoir up on Exmo, so in a really beautiful uh, natural environment. And we are a residential activity centre or you can come on day visits and do activities with us as well. And we have a great range of accessible activities from zip wire, climbing, uh, abseiling. Um, we're very, very lucky in that we're able to afford stables as well. So we've got um, several big horses for you to go horse riding, carriage driving. Uh, we do archery, uh, crate stacking, bushcraft, you name it. Um, so it's it's a really great place to come and visit um, and experience everything with us. So it sounds really exciting. So um, it's an activity uh, centre. So what what is your role within the trust? Yeah. Um, so I've been there since November last year. Um, I started as head of fundraising and marketing um, and I'd left a uh, very large charity based up in Leeds. So I've relocated down to Devon as well. And um, so started off at uh, really sort of uh, because we're a charity, um, we need to raise around at least 300,000 a year through fundraising to keep the centre going and to keep the costs down for our guests as well. Um, and a lot of marketing because we need to reach guests and encourage them to come and book and stay with us. And then recently our centre director, he has stepped away from um, that role because actually he wants to go part time. And also he's very much focusing on our finances. And I have taken a step up as centre director now. So covering running the centre, smooth running of the centre with a really good management team um, below me and a great Great teams of staff who work at Calvert. They're amazing. Uh, everyone is amazing who works there. So, like, you mentioned um, that people can come on, um, like, day visits and residential stays. And what sort of, like, what are sort of the different ranges of activities that people can take part in? Yeah, so... Um... It doesn't really matter if you're staying with us or if you're coming for a day visit, you can take part in um, any of the activities that we have scheduled for those days. Um, and uh, we don't worry about the weather and it can be, it's brilliant sunshine at the moment on Exmoor. Um, in the winter, it can be uh, fairly stormy, but that's really atmospheric. You know, we just say you dress for the weather. Um, so a lot of them uh, take part outside. I've mentioned the horse riding. We do cycling around the reservoir. At the moment, we've got canoeing on the reservoir because it's in the summer months as well. So it's slightly different in the summer. Um, we have an indoor and outdoor climbing wall. So some of them we, you know, we do inside as well as outside. Um, and it, it really, anyone can come and take part in these activities. Um, we talk to anyone who's booking with us um, about their accessibility needs. And our instructors are amazing at adapting uh, and using specialised equipment so that anyone can take part. So there should be no barriers, really. Um, and that's age as well. Um, doesn't matter. So that's really good for, you know, um, 
being structures can make activities um, accessible for all abilities and disabilities because of that. Um, myself, um, I'm, I'm a disabled young lady, I'm, I've got cerebral palsy, I'm a wheelchair user. So, so for somebody like me who's a wheelchair user, um, they can like take part in everything uh, along with everyone else. Absolutely. And you go off in a group. So you start your day. You have, you know, if you're staying with us, um, it's all inclusive or you can go self-catering. Start your day, have your breakfast and then typically activities start around 10 o'clock. The instructor will come and meet a group and it's a mixed group of mixed abilities um, and take you off for your morning activity. Um, and then you come back for lunch and then you go off again in the afternoon and we have activities in the evening. So we've got really nice social spaces um, we've got a barn where there's a bar, discos, uh, we put have um, quizzes, all types of things. Or actually you can have quiet time on your own in the evening as well. Or you can go off site, go visit one of the local beaches, um, completely up to you. Or just chill out, read your book or, you know, we've got great Wi-Fi across the centre as well. Um, but as I said, and the whole centre is fully accessible, so you'll be able to go absolutely anywhere in there. So, um, like uh, you mentioned before, that you rely on uh, fundraising. Your one of your roles is head of fundraising, and you you have to raise three hundred thousand pounds a year to keep the centre open and running. Um, I guess, um, how do you get that funding? Is it through the public or grants? Or... Yeah, so um, it, it's it's a real challenge, I have to say, to, um, and we're not quite reaching it at the moment. Um, so most of it comes through grants from very generous trusts and foundations um, who wish to support um, our charitable aims, uh, from members of the public who donate, um, sponsoring a pony, who've been to the centre, you know, really appreciate the services and understand that actually we need to raise money for other guests to have that experience. Um, we have a couple of companies who come and help us with volunteer days, which actually helps um, with some of our expenses. Um, and I would say it's, uh, we need to raise that money so that actually the amount that we're charging is um, kept down to a reasonable rate because actually it's quite expensive running an activity centre. Um, yeah, yeah, it really is. Yes. <laughs> yeah, we we need to keep the staff up qualified. You know, we have good facilities. Um, you know, there's a lot of equipment to maintain and upgrade, so it's quite big overheads. Um, but but you know, amazing experiences because of it. How much does it cost for like somebody or a group to come and stay uh, in the residential or to come and um, come for a day? How much does it cost? So it varies depending on time of year um, and depending on how long you want to, you know, if you want to stay overnight, if you want it fully inclusive or self-catering, because we have some self-catering room uh, lodges as well, the rooms on site. Um, so it does vary um, and typically we have people coming for three and a half days during the week and then a similar time for the weekend or actually you can book a seven day break or as you say just a day visit so it really does range um, and sometimes it's a school coming sometimes it's individuals sometimes a family and sometimes a group booking so uh, the best way to check how much it is, is we have our prices on our website, but also do send in a booking inquiry um, or give us a call. And I say that because we also fundraise for bursaries, which somebody might be eligible for, and that might help us bring down the price for you as well. Oh, so um, so how, how might somebody be eligible for bur a bursary? Yeah, so... It depends on the bursaries we have available so because we fundraise for bursaries um, and typically uh, we discuss it with the individual or the group sort of fairly confidentially. Uh, typically, if you're financially disadvantaged, so you can't really afford the stay at the prices we're charging, you know, we, we would always try and help as best we could. 
So, um, so it's best to like, you know, get in touch with you, and then they can discuss everything. Then and all yeah. the access needs and everything's taken care of. Um, uh, yeah, absolutely. And also, our, our guest services staff are amazing. They'll talk to you about um, uh, your accessibility needs, and we uh, have the room set up and adapted with different types of equipment going in there so that when you arrive on site, you immediately feel at home and you have everything you need. Right, that is very good to know. So um, it's all about, I think as well, the theme, the theme that I'm getting is that it's all about inclusion and that's very good because even in this day and age, you know, not all disabled people are, uh, p uh, people who are, who are at disadvantage feel very included in everyday things that, and they want to experience the same experiences as friends or whatever. So I think it's really positive that you as an organisation and a charity are really promoting that inclusion. Absolutely. And, and I would say we um, we ask for guest feedback all the time. And often you might have two brothers, you know, going out and doing an activity. They can do it together um, and they can have the same experiences. Uh, people, you know, you can do it with your family, you can do it with your own. I, I think the whole thing really is that actually there is no difference once you come on site. You're treated the same. You, ha you know, you're given all the same opportunities. And people say it really builds confidence. Um, it's really good for mental health and well-being, friendships. People make friends for life and they stay in touch with each other after they've been and they often plan to come back at the same time. Um, and, and sort of like life skills as well. Um, someone might have given up a sport because, you know, for whatever reason, they come to us and they gain the confidence back. And they think, actually, there's a way of doing this now. I'm going to take, take that hobby back up. I'm going to do that again. So it, it really it really inspires people to do more for the physical and mental health as well. Absolutely. And and the site, because it's surrounded by this amazing countryside, um, you really it is it is like, you know, it's a, you have a real break. Um, you know, and, and if you live in an urban environment, you know, coming to this countryside, you know, it's a complete change of scenery. Um, that, that's something I, you know, it, overlooking that reservoir is it's just an amazing view. So as soon as you come on site, you think, wow, this is really special. Cause yes, because that was my sort of like final question was like, I've never been to Giving an Expo, but I believe it's a beautiful part of the world. And so does it have like many outdoor spaces? Yeah, so um on our site and um, we've got lots of little outdoor spaces where you can just you can go down to the reservoir on your own go all around the reservoir um you know there's lots of sort of nice places sort of on our site and uh, you can also go off um really quickly it's about 15 minutes to the nearest piece of coast from our site really quick easy drive um, and lots of the beaches have got accessible facilities on there. And we've, we've got some beach pages on that and other pages on our website that promote where there's other accessible facilities so that you're comfortable going out, exploring. And you don't have to do activities all day long. You might want to go out for the day and come back or go out in the evening for dinner, go to the beach. It, it's a really good base to then go and explore as well. And um, I was just wondering, um, because my final question would be, how do people get in contact with you, which we've already discussed that. So um, at the end of this interview, if it's OK with you, um, may you send me any links to your website and that I can share them? Absolutely. That would be fantastic. And. We, we've got some great new social media content live now as well. So if you look at Calvert Exmoor on Facebook, Instagram, TikTok, YouTube, um, you know, we've got some really exciting new films, photographs, reels on there. So I definitely encourage people to have a look at us and engage there because then you get a much better sense of what I'm talking about, really. And I will yeah. send you those links. That would be fantastic because we just want people to know about us 
and encourage people to think about coming to see us. Well, thank you for your time today, Jenny. Uh, again, I really appreciate it. And thank you to everyone for tuning in. Thank you, Steph. It's lovely to meet you again. Have a lovely rest of your day. Thank you. Take care. Bye-bye. Bye. -bye. Bye.